Hello, my name is Sean Lewis. I am a motivational speaker. I travel all around the country and all around everywhere to tell people that God has a purpose, a dream, a destiny for each one of us. I don't care who you are, what your challenges is in life. God has a unique purpose and a unique plan for you, and He wants you to succeed even more than you want to succeed. But the only way to succeed is to have a personal re relationship with him. You know, um, God called me to be a most, God called me to speak and be a motivational speaker when I was 13 years old. Originally I thought I was to go in youth ministry, but after college, after continue prayer about it, I realized that my story and my motivational principles could uh, could be God wanted me to take them everywhere, to every venue I could, not just churches. I love to go to churches, but I go to churches, schools, colleges, community organizations, businesses. Anywhere that needs a speaker, I will come speak. If you'd like to bring me in as a speaker, please uh, feel free to contact me via my speaker's page on YouTube at Sean uh, Lewis Motivational Speaker or on Twitter at Sean Godman26 or via my email at Sean Godman26 at gmail.com please feel free to email me and I will send you all the information you need um, besides being a motivational speaker God has given me a passion and a love for business so I'm working on uh, building my own business besides being a motivational speaker but the whole thing of everything I do is to encourage and inspire you to achieve your dreams and goals. I was diagnosed with cerebral palsy, but I don't have my cerebral palsy to find who I am, what I'm about, or whether or not I can accomplish my goals and dreams or not, and neither should you. But you know, uh, we're right on Thanksgiving. So as you're thinking about um, your family and your friends, instead of just thinking about the turkey and the dressing, the football, I want you all to be thankful for the many blessings you have in your life. Many of us have a roof over our head, a bed, and a box spring to uh, sleep on. You know, we have a refrigerator, we have electricity, we have plenty of food to eat, we're not hungry. Even though the economy is bad right now, most of us do have jobs or the ability to go out and uh, look for jobs. And if we have those things, we are considered to be among the richest people in society so you know and um just look at the way our bodies created most of us have our health we have doctors that we can go to when we're sick uh, we have people around us that love us and care for us so as we're um and we have a god who loves us so as we're sitting around Eating our turkey to thank you. Let's give thanks for all our blessings. Most importantly, is my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And if you don't know Jesus, I would encourage you to begin to know Jesus. It's the greatest Thanksgiving gift you can give yourself. Because God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. Whoever believes within him, shall not perish and have everlasting life. I am not, not I, like I said, I'm a motivational speaker, but I am a Christian. 
all my belief and my principles are shaped by my walk as a Christian. And uh, I've been blessed to have a wonderful uh, support system in my mom. My mom and God are the reason that I am the man I am today. Without God and my mom, I wouldn't be the man I am today. But I want you to begin to, you know, um, watch over the words you speak over your life and over other people because your words have power, whether they be for negative or positive. Every word you speak has creative power and creative force behind it. So watch over the words you speak because your life will go in the very direction that you're speaking. Having you ever noticed that most people, uh, when they say nothing ever good happens to me, and they climb to me and say that, that's what happens to them. Nothing ever good. But you know, you can turn that around by the words you speak, and by the actions you take, and by the habits you form. You show me who you hang around, and I'll show you a carbon copy of who you're going to be like. God created all of us uniquely individual. And you know, but we can learn from other people. I always seek to learn and grow. I read all kinds of books. I, uh, God gave me the gift to be able to uh, draw information and concepts from movies, books, pretty much everything in life. If you let God, God will speak to you through it. And you know, God wants to use you right where you are. A lot of people say, am I mad at God because I'm in a chair? Number one, God didn't do this to me. God's a good God and I believe I'm going to be physically healed someday. The doctor made a mistake. I was born prematurely and he didn't do some things he should have done. That's why I'm in the chair. But you know what? Even though this isn't um, God's ultimate plan, if you like God, I'm not saying God created this because he didn't. But if you like God, if you're a willing vessel, God will use you right where you're at to inspire and encourage everybody. So just... If you're going to dream, dream big. If you're going to go, go big. Because if you don't go, you'll never know. You know, you know the thing that makes people successful? They work hard, they find something they love, and they're dedicated to it. I always tell people, the secret to never having to work a day in your life is find something you love. And you'll never have to work a day in your life. And by the way, don't find it. Don't find a career that pays the most money. Find a career that you're passionate about, and the money will the money will come. Yeah, you know, God wants us to prosper spiritually, physically, and financially. Um, you can. You can look up Deuteronomy 8, 8, 18, which says, God gives you power and ability to get well, which means God will give you power and ability and concepts to make, make you wealthy so that you can be, it's not so you can hoard it all up for yourself, it's so that you might be a blessing to other people. You know, my goal is to take care of my family and do the things I need to do, but also be a channel and a resource of what God called me to do. That's where I'm trying to get. And if you will let like God, He will um, give you ideas, concepts, entrepreneurial ideas to, uh, to, um, Propel yourself for right now is the greatest time in the world. Even though it doesn't look like it, it's the greatest time in the world. 
decided to be business. You know, I, um, you know, in following your attitude, you know, when I was taught some of the greatest successful business in the world, like Forbes Magazine and some of the other big businesses, you know, when they were formed in the dollar economy. So it's all about your business and your attitude. And you have to learn how how to use your failure in life, whether it's whatever kind of failure it is, to propel you forward and make a better person out of yourself. Once you give it to God and God forgives you, go on. In the summary, in the summary, uh, they have compartments uh, that are sealed off from the other ones in the event of a flood. That's what God wants you to do. Seal off your mistakes, go forward and move forward and become a better person. And if you don't know God, repeat this prayer for me. Dear Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. Be my Lord and be my master. Be my savior and be my friend. I believe that you think you son Jesus. Tonight on the cross of my sins. I believe he went to hell in my place. I believe you raised him up on the third day. The Bible said in Romans 10, 9 and 10, that if you confess this wound in your mouth and believe me in your heart, that you shall be saved. God is not looking for perfect people. God is looking for people with perfect hearts toward them. And all that is, is people that want to and desire to do the right thing. And God wants to have an intimate personal relationship with you. A great book I'm reading right now, you should check out, is by Stephen K. Scott, called The Greatest Man Who Ever Lived. And I just finished reading another one uh, called Jesus in 3D by Michael DePazio. Uh, those books were very impactful to me. You can find both those, both those books at Amazon.com. And I hope you have a great, wonderful Thanksgiving. Don't eat too much turkey and don't watch too much football. And if you're going to watch football, I would ask that you say a prayer for my Dallas Cowboys. Thank you very much. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Watch whatever team you want. But repost this video, retweet it, share it on your Tumblr, your Flickr, whatever. Help me send this video around the world so that I can encourage other people. Please do this. Thank you and God bless. And feel free to leave your comments and hit subscribe. You automatically get all my updates. Thanks again and God bless. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving and be looking for my uh, Christmas video coming up in a few weeks. God bless and we'll talk to you later. And if you have any questions, anything you would like me to help you with, uh, feel free to Leave those at the bottom of the comment box and I will do my best to answer them. God bless and have a wonderful day. Bye.